Welcome back everybody, Richie here from RW Hobbies with March edition of the new kit releases. Now, full disclaimer, there's not a lot happening right now in terms of releases. I did manage to cobble together 20, my usual 20 um, subjects to look at. Quite a lot of armor this week, um, or this month shall I say. And again, not a lot of big time releases. It's that time of year I guess. As always, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and you get all my latest content and updates. Now. First up, we have Tacum, 35th scale, M103A1. It's been around, um, this re this release has been around a couple of months, I think maybe possibly the previous months I put some CAD drawings up, and here is the, um, the box art. So this should be dropping pretty imminently, if not released already. Next up, same with Tacum, again 35th scale, the Yag Tiger with Zimmerit. Um, it's slightly different, I know there's a million different types of versions of this guy um, in model form, and um, like I said, this is the latest one they're releasing. With Zimmerit, and again, it should be out pretty soon. Moving on now to Ryfield Models T55 AMD. I think we had some teasing of this a couple of months ago, or maybe last month, even I lose track of time. For some, some kind of um, some shots, and um, here it's confirmed the box art once again. And it's the T55 AMD and um, 35th scale. And I'm sure being Ryfield Models, it'll be a fantastic kit. Moving on to Amusing Hobby now. The KF-51 Panther. Now we've seen plenty of Panthers, but maybe not so much of the KF-51. Interesting markings there with some digi camo and um, yeah, amusing hobby. So it's going to be plenty of plastic and this again should be out pretty soon. non to mini art. Um, interesting little subject I found here is a Caterpillar D7, or basically a bulldozer from World War II. You can sit down in a picture. Something different. Um, if you're into weathering, I'm sure you can definitely spend a lot of time weathering this, this guy up and uh, make it all used and abused. Hobby Boss, 35th scale, M1070 dump truck. Look cool looking subject. Again, it's some nice um, NATO camo there. Now this isn't very, very cheap at all. I think the retail price is about 150 US dollars, which is very expensive. Um, I know some of these big tank transporters, you know, can't command a big price, um, but you know, I guess it's not quite that big, right? It's the it's the cab in a dump truck. It's not a huge trailer behind it, although I guess there's some plastic involved with that dump truck bucket um, behind there. Um, but yeah, the cool subject, but around about 150 bucks, it's certainly not cheap. All right, next up is Mini Arts 35th scale Tempo E400. Um, again, like I said 35th scale, an interesting little subject here, and I included it because it just kind of caught my eye because it's something a little bit different to the usual. All right, now onto some cars. That's the armor section over with, as you know, quite a lot of armor releases. And um, now we're into the cars, which aren't very many, and that's Alpha Models Rocket Bunny GR Yaris. Again, not a very cheap kit. These ones, I think, are around about 160 US dollars. And with um, Alpha Model AliExpress, or maybe buying direct might be your best shot for getting the best pricing. All resin kits, um, nice looking subjects, but again, high price, and um, supposed to be really good quality resin though. All right, moving on to the aircraft and um, Edward. Next few, two or three of Edward's um, latest editions, which are going to drop in April, I believe, the April releases. This one caught my eye. It's like the float plane. The AC 48 scale, dual combo. So you're getting two in the kit. Um, no idea of the price, but it's a limited edition dual combo. Carry on with their kind of whole Pearl Harbor Japanese kind of thing they've had the last few months. Next up is a 48 scale, like Czech civil aircraft. And it's a Z326C305. Um, that means anything to you. Just a cool little markings there. A Profi Pack Edition, so you'll probably get the mask set and uh, maybe some photo etch. And um, I think it'd be very big being, well, it's 48 scale, so yeah, it might be a okay size. But something a little bit different there. And um, so I include it in this month's deck. Talking about size, this guy's going to be tiny. A mix 15 and 72nd scale is going to be tiny if you're into your small, tiny little aircraft. Um, but what caught my eye with this one is it's, it's a re-release that they've done tons of these, but just the markings look really interesting there down the down the right. You can see one, there's five plus there's a couple of extras too um, they've not shown yet. But just some cool looking markings and if you like the, you kind of make 15s this might be a good option for you. Um, you actually see down here now look at it, you can see you've got the, um, the mask set, some color photo etch, um, decal sheet and then looks like four sprues. Alright, this one's been kind of around for a while now. Now, now we're in some pictures. Um, it's been kind of in use. And that's a score CCH 54A um, Skycrane. And um, you can see there, it's 
gangly looking guy, but you see it built up on those two left pitchers. I'm on a stand there. It would make an interesting dio if you can kind of, you know, like you say, that picture on the right there, kind of have it, you know, maybe pulling, picking up something or some kind of. I know there's a, a picture somewhere on Google I saw of it, of one of these guys picking up like a pivot boat in Vietnam. And I thought that would be an amazing diorama if that's something you, you know, some people are into. But yeah, it looks like um, interesting, very gangly, um, certainly a different subject for sure. No release date yet, um, but I don't think it'll be too far away, maybe like I don't know, next few, two or three months possibly. B26, B Marauder. I think I just missed this off my last month's one. I think it was announced like a couple of days after my, I, I did my video. But um, the Marauder, 48 scale. A lot of people in the modern community have been asking for this for a while. A Marauder in 48, and here it is. It's ICM, so I'm sure it'll be a fantastic kit to build. And it'll probably have some you know, engine detail, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, all new tooling, all new molding, all that kind of stuff. And it should be out the you know, first half of 2023. 72nd scale gunship AC-119K Stinger from Talieri. Um, don't we really have any CAD drawings? If you go over to modelingnews.com website, I think they have the sprues on there too you can look at. Um, but that's kind of the picture. Interesting looking aircraft there for sure. Um, and there you go. A and A models. So and like I mentioned, there's not a lot of new releases now. So we've got some obscure, maybe some, some places you've maybe not heard of so much. But A and A models... BA more like your know, smaller companies. Um, this is a BAE Hawk 200, due for release May 2023, 72nd scale, and you can see three different versions of box art there. Um, you can see on the screen of various ones. 72nd scale again, the Aero L159, and this is um, KP models. And you can see there in the bottom what you're gonna get. It's um, these kits, maybe a little bit agricultural Russian kits. Um, but yeah, some interesting subjects for sure. Talked about this one around Christmas time, I think um, November or December. The Grable Hobbies F14B, and this is now the box art for it. So getting far along now, um, the B is obviously what we're missing. You know, a Tamiya line. Tamiya, we have the A, the A plus, and the D, but we don't have the B. So maybe this will slot nicely in that gap. Um, I'm sure it won't be cheap. Great Wall Hobbies aren't Great Wall Hobbies aren't cheap kits, but they are pretty solid kits. Nice service detail. Usually go together pretty well. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be out too much longer. So check um, you know again like your AliExpresses and your Ebays for China. Um, that's where you get better deals um, buying from China than, than you would in the US or Europe. Copper State models, Bristol Scout C. Um, interesting subject. I think again this has been um, in the new circles for a while now um, but I believe it's being released or about to be released if you're into your World War One kind of era stuff and this might be for you. Copper State models, very good kits and um, very similar to kind of wing nut wings in terms of their extractions and the way you know the fit and that kind of stuff. 32nd scale, I'm not going to pronounce that, Kotari I guess maybe possibly I might show I'm butchering that, um, Spitfire Mark 1A um, late 30 second scale Spitfire. I know Spitfire again, um, but this is supposed to be a pretty fantastic, well detailed kit. And talking about wing nut wings, this is a New Zealand company, I believe, and I think people involved in this were previous designers or people who worked for wing nut wings. So it's supposed to be a really super kit. It's now shipping. So it's, um, you know, we've heard about this for the last couple of years and now they're shipping out and people probably have these already in their stock. So if you check eBay, I'm sure you probably find inbox reviews and that kind of stuff already. 70 second scale, Hella. E2C Hawkeye. Now, Heller, if you don't know, they were bought out by, they were a French company, I believe a German company or a German consortium bought them a couple of months ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, spent a lot of money, several hundred thousand dollars in tooling and, and equipment and stuff and restarting this company. And um, the first one here is the E2C Hawkeye. Now, people have mentioned that a lot of these CAD drawings and, um, and obviously, um, and the way the website, you know, they show the pictures look very kinetic-like, which may be um, true because kinetic due to 48 scale version. So maybe, I don't know, who knows, maybe they had a hand in this one as well. But looks pretty cool, 72nd scale Hawkeye. Um, again, Hella, I don't have a um, release date yet, but it should be some point in 2023. And that is it in um, record pace there. We just zip through them. There's a 20 subjects for this month. I'll be back next month for the next batch. Um, like I say, it's been a little bit slim pickings recently, but I managed to carve out 20. So thank you for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.